from all my multi rotors I like the tricopter at most. Because of the fact that it's large, it can cause a lot of damage. So it's probably not a good idea to fly this in my garden. I was looking for a smaller, lighter tricopter that I can build from scratch. After a quick Google search, I found rchacker.com with plans for a mini tricopter build. I was very surprised by the tilt mechanism. Because the motor was only attached on the servo. For his build he uses some spare parts from Hobby King and balsa wood for the frame. I was very impressed of the frame weight of 219 grams and the capability of carrying a GoPro. Finally I decided to build one my own. I decided to make my tricopter out of carbon fiber to make it more crash resistant. I used rubber bands to connect the frame parts. It turns out that they absorb the energy caused by a crash very well. I reinforced the rubber bands with tape. The tricopter is driven by Turner G1811 2900kV motors from Hobby King and 12 amp mystery ESCs. Instead of a KK2 I used a KK2 mini board with David Windersel's PID settings. I came up with a total weight of 144 grams, which I guess is very light. With a 1402 S LiPo I came up with a flight time of 15 minutes. Next I decided to measure the flight time with a mounted Möbius camera. It barely lifts off the ground, so I guess that I cannot use this tricopter for any aerial video footage. After a hundred flights and hundreds of crashes I had no serious damages on the carbon fiber frame. I think that the rubber bands makes this tricopter way more durable. They also seem to take out some of the motor vibrations. I will do more experiments with rubber band joints and try to come up with some comparisons to screw joints. Thanks for watching and see you next time.